In this video, we're going to be covering how to pretty much make an aim offset. Now, this is going to be from the animation starter pack. And if we look at the aim space iron sights, for example, you will see it's just kind of a collection. Well, it's kind of one big animation. So this is what we're going to be extracting our animations from. So for example, we're going to have center, center. Then we're going to have center up, center down left center, left up, left down, and same thing for the right side. So we're going to be extracting the animations from these and then using those extracted animations to construct our aim offset. So we're going to be going over how to extract them, how to uh, retarget them so they use our mannequin mesh or skeleton because these are for the uh, animation starter pack skeleton. We just want to retarget it so that it works for our third person skeleton and then how to set them up to be used inside of the animation or the aim offset. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by making the aim offset real quick. So I'm going to go to group point. Uh, no, let's just make a new, let's make it inside a mannequin. I'm going to go to our mannequin folder, animations, weapons. I'm going to make a new folder, call it aim offset. Go in here, make go into the animation tab and create a new aim offset. Now we're gonna create this for our mannequin. Make sure it's not the animation starter pack one like this one is. Make sure it's for our mannequin, like our our own mannequin that we we're using. I'm gonna call this one man aim offset and open it to set it up. So we're gonna look here on our horizon axis. We're gonna change this to y'all. Minimum value negative 90. Maximum value positive 90. Name for this one is gonna be pitch. We're gonna do negative 90, positive 90 and save it. So right now there's nothing that he can do. There's no animations that we can use to drag, like a drag around with or anything like that. And that's what we're gonna be fixing. So I'm gonna change this one to aimed offset, just so we know that it's when we're aiming because that's the only time we're gonna actually perform it. So now we need to get the animations. So we're going to go here, we're going to go to the aim space iron sights, click it, well, it was already open, and here's where we extract it. So we're going to duplicate this, control C, go to our aim offsets, I want to make a new folder, call it untargeted aim, aim animation and paste it in there. So we're just gonna use this as our temporary folder for our animations that we're extracting from the old mannequin. So that way we, when we go to retarget it, we're gonna be duplicating them so that way we're not getting them confused and mixed up. So to start, we need center center. So we're gonna go to two front, just make sure you're at frame zero right here. Where he's aiming center, we're gonna simply right click on, make sure you right click on the little slider here if you right click out front, you're gonna have different results from where you're at. So we need to click on the slider. And we're gonna click remove from frame one to 87. Uh, don't do that just yet. So we're gonna actually make a little better workflow for this. We're gonna click on this, we're gonna do control W. We're gonna call this one aim underscore CC. And it's just gonna be the same thing, but we're gonna do it on this one. So we're gonna right click, remove from frame one to 87. So that way there is no other frames of just one frame and we save. So now we have the old aim space right here that we're going to continue to use. And then we now have our aim center. So let's make center up. We're going to click on this aim space again, control W, aim underscore CU for center up, click on it. And we can see up, it's max up is, cent is at frame 10. So we're just going to drag it to in the frame 9 area, and we're going to click this to next. That's going to take us from frame 9 point whatever to frame 10 even. Then we're going to, again, we're going to right click on the red slider and click on remove from frame 0 to frame 10. Then we're going to click again from frame 1 to frame 78, and that gives us our center up. Now make sure you do it in that order, because if you don't, I'll show you real quick. If you do remove from frame 11 to 87, you get this, and you have to drag the slider all the way back over again to get to it. So it's just a little quicker to do it the route I'm showing you. 
So frame 10, we move from frame 0 to frame 10, from frame 1 to frame 78, and save, and close. Now we're going to repeat this process for aim underscore C day for center down. And we can see that down is on frame 20. So we move from frame 0 to 20, frame 1 to 68, save. We now have our aim center down. Now I want to continue to do this without talking just for the rest of them. For like left and such, and you'll see. So aim underscore left center. So you can tell each one of these is at a um, pretty much at a value of or at frame 10. Or for, so for example, like up is at 40, down is at 50, and so on. So starting for the right, we're at frame 60 for the right center. So it should be 70 for the up. Oops. That means 80 should be the down. Okay, now we have our center, center, center down, center up, left center, left down, left up, right center, right down, right up. That's what we need. So now we need to retarget. So we can select all these, right click, go to retarget animation assets, duplicate animation assets and retarget. And here's where we need to set up our skeleton so we can select it. Because currently there's nothing here for us to select. So what we need to do is we need to select our own mannequin. So we're gonna go to our mannequin folder, character, mesh, Click our skeleton, bring it to the retarget manager, which is already open. Skelet or select rig, click it, select humanoid rig, and save. Now we do the same exact thing for the animation starter pack mannequin. Go to the skeleton, click select hum rig, select humanoid rig, and save. If you don't have the retarget manager up, you can just go right here and click retarget manager, and it opens it for you. So now let's head back to our animations. Select all of them, right click, retarget animation assets, duplicate animation assets and retarget, click a skeleton, and press retarget. Now this will duplicate to our root, so if we click content, you will see them all right here. So I'm going to select them, move them down, and I'm going to drag them into our aim offset folder. Click move here. So now you can see we have all these, and you can see the skeleton that they're set to is our correct skeleton not the not the uh, add-on skeleton the um or the add-on mannequin the aim what's it called the animation starter pack mannequin so now we have that but we have one more thing we have to do so if i open up our aim offset you can see all of them here i click them out i can't drag them down there this is where we need to make that change that i was talking about to all of them so we're again select all of them all of our animations right click Asset Actions, Bulk Edit via Property Matrix, and click the top one, hold left shift, click the bottom one to select them all. We're going to go over here to Additive Settings, little drop down box. We're going to do the Base Pose Type, change it to, or no, Additive Animation Type. We're going to change that to Mesh Space. Then we're going to File, Save. Now if we open our Aim Offset again, Aim Center Center we can drag it out. And my aim center center is broken. So I made a goof here. Ah, that's why. 
All right, so I need to redo our my aim center center real quick. So I'm just going to do that from the one that we already retargeted. So make sure I'm on frame zero. Remove from frame one to 87 and save. Now it is only that one single frame. That's my bad, my apologies. So aim center center, it's going to the center. Aim center down, it's going to the bottom. Aim center up, it's going to the top. And you can see the character now looks up and down. I'm going to do a quick little interjection here as there was something that I forgot to do. So we have all of our poses set and it seems to be working right, but we haven't set our base pose. So we need to do that for all of these as well as create it or set it up so we can uh, select it in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our untargeted animation offset or animations folder, find our aim space iron sights. I want to retarget it to our current mannequin skeleton drag it back to our aim offset folder and now we need to select all of our poses asset actions we're going to bulk edit again select them all we need to change our base pose type to selected animation frame and our base pose animation if we click the little grid here we're going to select aim underscore space iron sights so you'll see we have three to select from First one's our animation starter pack, we don't want that. The second one's our untargeted one. And our third one is our the one we just made that's retarded for our current skeleton. We want that one. So we're gonna do that. File save. Open our whatchamacallit here. We're gonna go to preview base pose. Aim underscore space. We're gonna select it. And now you see we're back up and working again properly as well as we have our base pose selected. So we're gonna hit save, and now we have our finished base pose. I mean our finished aim offset. So we're gonna to continue to add the rest of them. So we have left center, left down, left up. We have right down, right center, and right up. So now as I move this around, you can see he goes and aims accordingly. So we now have our aim offset that we can save and use in future videos for when we go to aim with our rifle. So that way we can aim up, aim down, and all that kind of stuff instead of only looking straight like we have been. So once that should hopefully be the next video, unless I have to continue something else for this. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next one.